their general release. Um, got them for 110. I don't know how much adult sizes cost, but these are these. Don't try this at home. We thought it would be a good idea. Yeah, we got we got water, sandwiches, chips. You gotta do your best dance move. Best dance move. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see. You be safe, okay? You A couple of months ago, um, me and Rihanna we parted ways. I don't I don't know like if she accidentally stepped in the road. Like I don't know what happened, bro. But the truck beside us hit her. And stating that we was right beside the truck, it felt like we hit her. Like it it was like 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 yo, like what the you feel me? He hit her. And it was so graphic because we seen and heard everything. So yes, I did test positive for COVID-19, you feel me? I did test positive. Um, I don't even know if I mentioned it on this channel, but I don't eat meat. Like, I don't eat meat. Like, I've, I've been a vegetarian for about four months now. So Buddy was like, yo, you ready to do this prank? I'm like, yeah. So like, I was gonna hold the camera for him. So that's what I did. And he went up there and he um he did the prank on him. You feel me? And I feel like I don't know. That was that was that was dope. It was really nothing much behind that. But yeah, he did the prank on him. It was like ah laughing jokes, ha 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 ha, whatever, blah blah blah. So yeah, that 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 was the big that was the beginning of it. Okay, mind you, I'm still drinking. I'm drunk as hell before the the show even start. Now look, let me scoot over. But the first thing we looking at is. Subscribe for thirty dollars. You know what I could do with thirty dollars? Another notification came up and it said it's poppy. So I'm like, bet, all right. So it said my team will be reaching out to you for your little video you made. Hope you have a lawyer. <sighs> Before I show y'all what I responded. Now look. If anybody says they're going to come out and sue you, they are not going to do it, okay? That's like Curry telling the other team when he about to shoot a three, you feel me? That's like me playing chess and my chess opponent say, oh, I'm about to checkmate you. Oh, okay. All right, so they, they give me a little time to prepare, you feel me? They give me a little time to make my round. Now you back there. You not gonna come back here? No. But yeah, I'm officially I'm officially launching my business next week. I do want to show y'all what I'm launching, but I don't like I become such a private person to the point like I just really want to protect everything around me. So if you know you expose plans and things you're doing and somebody else don't like that. That energy could, uh, you know, fuck up all of your shit. Fuck all of that up. They don't want to hear none of that shit. Don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I'm about to launch my clothing line. Well, it's not a clothing line. It's a clothing brand. Because I'm putting it on everything, you feel me? But it's called Doughboys. So, bro, you want that, uh, that shit he put on the weed? What, the white shit? Yeah. What is it? Shit, I don't know. You said it was something like booger sugar or some shit. Uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> that shit like some coke. It's some coke. I don't know what the fuck he gave me. Oh, fast, 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 fast. That shit might be some mystical shit. <laughs> 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 ain't gonna like having a nigga in Neverland and shit be true. Damn, you feel like right, though? Hmm. You feel like? Right? You put it in here? Yeah. Yeah, I'm straight. Straight up. The, the J Sauce crib, you feel me? This is a well overdue. Fully furnished house tour. Now look, I ain't gonna be here much longer, but I feel like I still gotta give y'all a little fully furnished house tour. Today is the day I finally quit my job. This is it, man. This is it. I quit. Let me close the door. Close the door, you feel me? Man, these pimples fucking with me, boy. But look, I quit. I did record it, but 
he already expected me to quit you feel me so i was just like all right i'm out and he was like you quit I'm like yeah that, that was pretty much it and he walked me out Damn, baby. Then smoke with the homie. Yeah. <laughs> just link. Yeah. Just link. Shit was crazy. I was walking and he was like, you know, you trying to smoke? I was hey. like, pass the wood. Hey. I'm pass the wood back. <laughs> well, I'm here with I'm Cara. Cara and I'm Shar. Shar. Okay. So I got a question. Is this our first time in Vegas? Third time. No. Third time. Okay. So I'm pretty sure y'all been out in the streets a little bit. So what is the freakiest thing y'all have done while in Vegas? You want to go first? What have I done in Vegas? Yeah. Like today? Ever. 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 Yeah. Mm. Made out with somebody random that I didn't know. Oh, word. Lit? <laughs> yeah, lit. Okay. What about Made you? Made out with lots of people. Oh, I didn't know. lots of people. Oh, she got the mask on, though. She I came like, here pre-COVID. Pre-COVID. She's, she's good. She's good. A kitty. Right, so we got here? What's your name? Carmen. Go ahead, introduce yourself. Dawson. Mel. Dawson Mel. Can you introduce yourself? What's your name? My name is Tabitha. Tabitha Ava. and Ava. Hello, I'm Brianna. Okay. Don't the only one going to I'm Paris. Oh, thank you. Okay, we got two. Uh, introduce yourself. What's your name? Vivian. What's your name? Winter. Jasmine. Okay, Jasmine, you looking cute. Thank what's, you. Uh, what's your friend name? We That's can't see wife. it. That's my wife. Oh. Nice. All right, so we got our first couple here. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. My name's Nolan. Nolan. My name is Lisa. My name's Mariah. Mariah and uh, Christopher. Danielle. Danielle and Joe. Joe. Caesar. 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 Okay. And I'm Jenny. Jenny I'm and Henry. I'm Jessica. And Jessica. And like I said, I ain't trying to ruin no relationship, but hey, if it doesn't want to come to, man, that's what come to. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. So do y'all trust each other to, to swap phones right now, real quick, just to see if y'all can find anything? Do y'all trust each other? Yeah. I ain't got nothing to hide. Uh, this, this could be fun. Just look at this shit, man. Oh! Look at this shit. This shit. I'm trying to hide my license plate number, y'all. Trying to hide it. Okay. So as y'all can see, somebody rear-ended me. He rear-ended the fuck out of The damages don't look that bad, but the way my fucking head flew, got down, got down, you feel me? Got down, you do. Come bring it back. My head, I, uh, I ain't gonna lie, that shit, that shit did a little damage, man. That shit did a little damage. The shit I be going through, bro. I was literally sitting on the couch, minding my business, bro. And look at this shit. Look at this shit. <laughs> Somebody ran up and broke my window. And it's the fact I seen it. Like, I seen, I'm sitting right here, y'all. I turn and I see the nigga, bro. I see him. And it's just like, yo, what the fuck? Like, bro. These motherfuckers. And so he said I made an illegal U-turn. And then I cut the bus off because I didn't use the signal. Man, fuck that bus. I haven't grounded since I've been in Charlotte. Like, I used to do it, you feel me? Because it was very easy for me to find grass and shit like that. But, like, I ain't saying Vegas don't have grass, but it's just, like, it's not, like, in common areas, you feel me? And the area I stay in is where all the tourists be at, so it's not really no grass there, you feel me? So... And just being out here, I'm thankful enough to be able to look. I know my ankle's a little ashy, but look, I got on tube socks, so don't even worry about that, baby. Don't even worry about that. Like, toothache pain is the type of pain that make you feel like you about to die out this bitch. Like, how is this shit legal? I did not sign up for this. But let me be grateful. See, you always got to look on the bright side of things. I'm glad I have my teeth. I mean, I'm glad I, I'm able to even get a fucking toothache. I'm glad I'm able to even get it fucking fixed. Whatever the fuck wrong with it, you feel me? But the thing is, it's like, this shit is unbearable. It's to the point, like, you can't eat. I have not eaten yet today. It's going on 12 o'clock. They always talk about make sure you upload every day. Make sure you be consistent. You don't want to miss a day. It's always someone out there working harder than you. But they don't talk about the self-care. 
they don't talk about the breaks that are needed for you to keep going. Oh, it's someone out there working harder than you. Are you in competition with yourself or other people? Why do you care if it's someone else working harder than you? That's not your storyline. And I took that shit to heart when I started this channel. I'm like, I can't miss a day. I got to keep going. I got to keep uploading. And I end up putting YouTube before I put myself first. I know you like how you put YouTube first if that's something you wanted to do. August 5th of last year, I lost my grandmother, bro. It was one of the hardest times, hardest shit I've ever had to go through in this lifetime. But it was also the time where I was gaining a lot of traction on this channel. So I'm like, yo, I can't miss a day. I got to keep uploading. So what did I do? The day my grandmother passed, I pre-recorded three, four videos just so I could have them lined up for the next few days because I knew I would not be able to record. And it was one of the hardest things I ever had to do, having to pause in between the reactions and cut me crying out and and all of this other shit when the whole time I could have just took those two to three days off so I could focus on myself and focus on my mental. We're constantly chasing success and trying to chase things we never had before without throwing in a balance. Without a balance, you're never going to make it to where you need to be. You could be the most hardworking person in the world, but if you don't balance self-care and rest, then all of that means nothing. There's so many rich and successful people out there that are broken inside. They they are walking zombies, bro. You know, I see a lot of people saying, oh, if I had money, 98% of my problems would be solved. And a lot of these celebrities be responding and saying, no, you still go have problems. You want to know why? Because they didn't focus on their problems when they were trying to chase their dreams. They pushed them to the side. And then when they finally had the time to sit down with themselves is when everything hit them. And now they're looking at themselves like, damn, what the fuck was I doing all this time? I've been doing YouTube for the past 16, 17 years. I literally started with my best friend, childhood best friend. We were doing skits on this bit. You dig what I'm saying? I went from that channel to a couples channel, to a reaction channel, to a smoking channel, to a vlogging channel. Bro, I've had so many channels. The whole time, the only thing I needed to do was focus on the one and build that one. You know, and a lot of y'all been asking me if I quit doing YouTube, quit doing reactions and all of that. No, I, I have not quit. I didn't make it this far just to make it this far. You dig what I'm saying? These past two weeks, two, three weeks, I needed time to myself. August 5th just passed. It was the first year that my grandma has been officially gone. You dig what I'm saying? I spent that whole day just laying down and soaking in my emotions and feeling everything that I've been running away from. And it felt good. It felt good to not have to do a goddamn thing that day. And I know I've been losing myself because January 19th, that's when I started my gym journey. I officially started for real and told myself I would not stop. Since January 19th, I've been in the gym every other day for the past eight months. But these past two, three weeks, I stopped going to the gym. You dig what I'm saying? Everything was just not where it needed to be. So I had to take the time to step back and get everything back in order. And if anybody has watched the last video on, I, I gave out hella tips and tricks on how to make money. You dig what I'm saying? In that video, I did express, in that video, I did express how I was starting a new business as well. So that's also what I've been focusing on. This is going to be my fourth business I'm starting. You dig what I'm saying? And I, I just really needed to focus on just that and nothing else. You feel me? I focused on YouTube, like I said, over a decade. It was time for me to step back and focus on real life matters. So with that being said, anybody that's out there that's just in survival mode, trying to grind, 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 make sure you put yourself first. Make sure you take some time to rest. Make sure you're not running away from real life problems and your emotions and feelings and putting it all into work because that's not good. Everybody be talking about energy and shit. You don't want the cook that's making your food to be sad as shit while he in the back cooking up your shit. You he tears falling and you just about to eat that shit. You feel me? You're soaking in that energy, bro. Now now you're depressed. Now you're sad and you don't even fucking know why. It's because the nigga that just made your shit and he ain't got now to put, put love into it. You feel me? He didn't put that love that was needed into it. You feel me? So, you know, so it's always quality over quantity. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to just come on here and just continuously drop in videos and shit like that. And it be ass. Shit be so ass. Like, why did you drop this? You feel me? So with that being said, I did not go nowhere. 
<laughs> I did not go fucking nowhere. Like, I did not make it this far just to make it this far, my nigga. I'm good. I'm super fucking blessed. You dig what I'm saying? I got a roof over my head. I got clothes on my back. I got more than enough money to take care of my bills without a fucking job. I don't have a job, you feel me? I'm, I'm working on my own income. You dig what I'm saying? Like, life is life, you feel me? I'm making the best out of what it could be for me. So, yeah, this is the end of this. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. J-Sauce, I'm out there, ho.